welcome back. Social distancing means keeping space between yourself and other people outside of your home. It's one of our most useful tools in our continuous fight against coronavirus, but there are some new troubling signs that some Americans may be easing up when it comes to social distancing. We take a look behind us at how Louisiana, Arkansas, and Texas are doing when it comes to social distancing. Each state receiving the letter grade D. But the question is, why has it been so difficult for some to social distance? Well, some are blaming it on the term called quarantine fatigue. But the weather and the warmer weather and looser state rules could also be to blame. NBC's Sam Brock has more. California's golden beaches, for weeks vacant in the midst of this public health crisis, are suddenly social. Normally we'd be going to church, but now we're just kind of feeling the presence of God here in, in, uh, on the beach. On the other side of the country, crowds gathered on Long Island shores were stretched out at Piedmont Park in Atlanta, tossing frisbees and exchanging high fives. This is something that I don't think anybody, even our grandparents, could relate to in their lifetime being told to not go outside. While this video of a house party reportedly taken in Chicago this weekend is going viral, the city's mayor calling it reckless and utterly unacceptable. You can't even move. A new study from the University of Maryland says increasingly more people aren't staying home. What we see right now is that individual Americans, many of them are deciding on their own that they are going to reopen uh, themselves to go out more. Dr. Lei Zhang calls it quarantine fatigue, a combination of warmer weather, looser state rules, and weeks of being cooped up inside. Turning the tide in the wrong direction, with his social distancing index dropping by 3% overall, equating to millions of people out and about. Last week, we saw for the first time nationwide a reduction in our social distancing index, which indicates that people are going outside of the home more, they're traveling more. So it's just a major shift uh, in momentum as the nation fights the pandemic. Although 44 states in the study slipped, the worst offenders were largely in the South, with Louisiana, the Carolinas, and Tennessee leading the way. Governors like California's Gavin Newsom reacting to the renewed beach activity, tweeting in part, I know it's going to be nice out this weekend, and many are tired of staying home, but we must continue to take this seriously. Hashtag stay home, save lives. For this circle of friends, who used to meet every week at a neighborhood bar, this group, we respect each other, we keep our distance. I can only be responsible for myself, and I have to do what I'm comfortable with. They say their behavior is proof you can be outside responsibly. But with a bit of cautiousness, because you're only going to trust the people that you think are practicing social distancing. 